Um, I created a, an example here about sharks. One of my good friends loves sharks. So I thought, you know, I'll make it about sharks and, and send it to him. He'll get a good kick out of that. Um, so here's my example I'll share with you of my 30 second digital advertisement about protecting sharks. Okay, there's my example. I had a lot of fun creating that. I actually, you know, I, I went through several iterations as I was creating that. Um, initially, I had included our transparent text uh, overlaid over the whole thing. So there was sort of this transparent white background um, with with the with the um, the the letters showing through, and then you could see sort of the the sharks swimming around. But I decided to remove that. I thought it was a little bit more fun. And then I kind of changed it around so that the sharks were actually swimming around the letters. And I thought that was kind of kind of a fun effect um, for this one. And then dropped in those those letters for um, protect uh, sharks, stop the fin trade. Um, and I also, you know, wanted to play around with music. You know, we often think of sharks as sort of in like the um, cultural lexicon as being, you know, scary predators. Um, so I wanted to kind of start off with that and then transition into, um, you know, some more like lighthearted music um, to that, that might sort of signify building empathy for sharks. So those are some of the design choices that I made when I created that. Um, I thought I would just show you kind of what this looks like in the editor. So this is that project built out. And so you don't have to do this, but I decided to actually make a, a different track for and a different text block for each letter. So you can see I've got the S, H, A, R, K, and S there. And um, what I did to create that, um, this kind of like drop in effect here. And then the blinking uh, letters there. I wanted to kind of share how I created that. So um, I went into our text here and I used one of our motion text options, I believe. Let's see. Oh, there's the one. Okay. So I use this trailer cut, um, which has this kind of bounce, bounce in effect. And then I just didn't use the bottom row. So if you just delete that row, it takes that text away. Um, I created the letter, uh, increased the font size, of course. Um, let's do, oops. Here, we'll just bring this font size up this way. Um, so increase the font size, and you can also kind of um, increase the font size this way. Uh, change the the um, the actual font that I was using, um, and then change the color. Um, so I went down and selected like a custom color, and then I just uh, copied and once I got it the way that I wanted, I just copied and pasted that letter and then dragged it to the um, track above, and then I just had it. I wanted these to enter at different times. So um, I just had it uh, start slightly later, change this next letter to an H and move it over where you want it. Um, and then you get this neat kind of bouncing effect. And so I just did that for all of the letters um, in this graphic. So I thought I'd show you that because um, I thought that was kind of a fun technique. You don't have to do it that way. Um, but, it, but you know, that is a way that you could do it. And then I just had different tracks for the other words that came in. Um, I used a uh, um, an in with a whisper for those ones and then just changed the, the, the text color to gray. So they were a little bit more sort of translucent, um, a little more faint. Um, and then I used for the swimming sharks, I used this green screen um, shark video. And so if you search the stock media, media library, you can search for like green screen shark. Um, and there are some fun um, options that show up. 
And so I just added two of these so that I'd have two swimming around. Um, and then I also um, made some splits. So you'll notice this is this is kind of a trick. So I wanted the sharks to swim in front of the letters and then swim behind. And so I had to just change the letters. So you'll notice like this shark clip is actually longer. Um, so I had just used the split tool to split this clip. And then I dragged the other part of that clip down here. So it was in a layer below the letters so that it would appear behind the letters. So right where that split happens is where that shark on the right swims behind the letters. Like that. Um, so that's how I did that, was just splitting the green screen clip um, and then moving one portion of it when it was, I, I split it where the shark was gonna swim behind the letters and then moved the, the later portion of that down to a lower track. Um, and that's how I got that effect. Um, and then the other thing I did here that I thought was kind of fun, if you'll notice, I'll play this, you'll notice there's kind of like a static image on top. Um, you can especially see over the letters. Um, so I just added an overlay. So if you go to extras here and um, explore overlays, you can, there's, um, I believe it was this one. Let's see. Let me put, I'll just move this stuff around. Just make sure this is the one. Yeah. So that's the one you can see with the kind of static images there. Um, so I just overlaid that on top and that overlay allows you to see what's below it, uh, but just adds this kind of animation on top. So that's how I created that. And then I just have a couple audio tracks for the music that's kind of the friendlier music running through and then the, um, and then the, uh, uh, the, the shark uh, music, which I had found using the stock media library. I think I might've searched shark for that. Let's see. Little jaws. Um, so yeah, so that's how I created that. Um, and you know, you could export this as a, um, uh, when you're when you're done, you could export this as a video like I did. You could also export this as a GIF and just have this kind of animated graphic that repeats. Um, and that can be a fun way to run this activity too.